Over my many years of teaching, I've seen a lot in the wonderful world of self-defense, and some of what's being taught out there is just pure fantasy. I'm PJ from Archangel Protective Intelligence, and let's see what we can learn from picking apart these magical self-defense fantasies. Last time I criticized these specific people, they got me kicked off of social media for a while. Let's see what happens this time. Don't just touch women like this, but this seems like an overreaction. Maybe you just recognized her from high school or something. You can just swing that bag and have a much better effect. I'm always a big fan of knees to the groin. She leaves this guy's hands around her throat. Yeah, if he's really strong, you've done nothing. Separate those hands and get them off of there. She pins this guy's hands to her head so he can't get distance and rip her hair out. And I really don't have a problem at all with what she's doing with this technique. I certainly wouldn't finish it the same way, but, you know, whatever. There are several ways to deal with something like this, and if you can get some space, then this is an effective technique. Stomping on the foot and kicking him in the heel is not, he's not just going to release you like this. There are better ways to deal with this, but this one is kind of effective too. See, I'm not being super critical here. Now this is the worst technique, breaking a wrist grab by biting your attacker. The second technique here is much more reasonable. There's nothing to stop you from just hitting this guy in the nose. Biting your attacker though won't stop him and might make him more aggressive. Don't do that. 